in this video we're going to explore how you can create a line chart like this but then when you hover over it the line itself starts to change color and this is a very useful way to just create a bit more interactive because normally if you're very familiar with chart.js only the point radius or the point the point border is starting to change color but now what we are doing here is to create a completely unique way of when we hover over it the tooltip shows up and we create an entire new color of the line so let's explore how we can do this in this video we're going to focus on how to change the border color on hover in a line chart in chart.js and this here is quite different than what you might expect because sometimes you want to create a effect on the entire line of the line chart by changing the color only on hover so let's start and explore how to do that and it's different than the basic changing color on hover so first of all we go here to chartjs3.com and then in here we're going to grab this chunk of code here copy all of this and if you want to understand what this is just check this video out here that is on this link here i'm getting started so once i have this one here i'll paste this in here i'm going to copy this put it in here save refresh there we are now we have a nice bar chart so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to convert this into a line chart to do this i want to make sure that we have only a single color and then here as well a single color i'm going to remove all of these and i'll save this and then of course this maybe can be adjusted let's say tension 0 0.4 make sure here's a comma and here as well here this should be type of line and we save this now and we have now a nice line chart here with a nice tension on it all right so what we want to do now is basically the following the moment we hover over as you can see here right now there is no adjustment of it and we might say well all right if we go here on the line chart the line chart and let's look here can we find your border color hover Let's put in here hover, hover, border, color. All right, so if I grab this right now, you will see this will not respond as expected. So I'll put in here, comma, and then I'll say here, I want this to become green. So once I save this here and refresh, and now if I hover, you can see what really becomes green is not the line, but the point radius border color here. So do we have anything else? No, this is the only one related to the border color. So how can we activate that this will eventually be shown on the entire line here? Now basically we have to go in here because there is a nice function in here which they allow it and all we go here is into the configurations and in here we go search for interactions and with the interactions we have a special namespace command and that namespace command is let's search here should be hoover uh, let's see let's see where are we search all right here we are that's it it's down here so you can see here by default these options apply to both hoover and tooltip interaction the same option can be set in the hoover option namespace in which case they will only affect the hoover interaction all right so meaning is the following so if you're getting confused so right now here if you go on here we are hoovering on this on intersect all right so if you do an on hoover, it would mean if you hoover over the entire canvas here, no matter where, it will start to trigger. But what we want to do is we want to hoover it also on intersect, meaning that this becomes green as well the moment we cross. An intersect is like intersection where we cross each other. So when we cross on this specific tooltip, we want to show not only this border becoming green, but the entire line. So let's start and explore how we do this. By using the options.hover, so that's what we're going to grab. In the options here, we put in a hover, make sure there's a comma here, and then in here, we're going to put in the following. So let's look at it. Let's go back here to the, make sure that we are here already. In the items, then we need here the mode. You can see here the interaction modes as well. Let's see if they show here hover, interaction modes, intersect. I'm not seeing it, but that's all right. You can just use the command. Then we say here data set, meaning when we 
cross the data set or intersect the data set at that very moment we want the line to become green as well so we refresh now and now we can see our line is becoming green completely so we are intersecting so if we do and this is very important as well if we say here intersect uh, let's see, intersect we set this on false what happened now is that the moment you can see it the moment we hover on anywhere on the chart area i guess this is not the the canvas but it's the chart area within the canvas just to make sure you understand this part this is the entire canvas so you can see if i hover on the white space nothing happens but if i hover here it will happen as you can see this is the white space it's still part of the canvas but doesn't do anything but then here as you can see now it changes so this is when you do this but we don't want to have the or we want to have the intersect active so we want to set this on true by default it is true so you can just set this on true or just remove that because you don't have to do that it's redundant basically you refresh and now there we are so this is quite nice because with this of course you can do a lot more things you can give it even a gradient color to make it far more appealing thank you for watching this video and i hope you enjoy it and if you enjoy this video you probably will enjoy this one as well and if you're interested in Chart.js, check out in the description box the link directing to my Chart.js course where you can learn everything about Chart.js. And finally, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel.